world, you stand up and then boom, 70 years later, you fall down again. Okay, first thing, can you lift your head? Good, good. That's good. All right, put it down. Put it down slowly. Easy does it. All right. That's very good. Okay, good sign. Now, we're feeling the brakes. Feeling the hips now. If you like this, we're engaged. Don't worry, everybody breaks. Me, I got a hip like a teacup twice last year. You know, I was also dead once for a while. Six minutes, they're doing a bypass, a coronary bypass on me, everything stops. They have to jump stop me like a Chevrolet. Six minutes dead, the doctor said. You know what it's like? What? Boring. All right, can you move your arms at all? Try to move, move your arms. Make like that boxer. Show me that golden gloves. Yes, very good. Very good. That's good. That's a good sign. It's good news. Put them down slowly. All right, boys. He's all right. Thank you. Go fight the forces of evil. <laughs> all right. Now, from experience, just lie there five minutes and relax before getting up. Best thing for relaxing is jokes. Willie Howard. You heard of him? Genius, an artist. Okay, years ago, he had this great routine. That was another lie, wasn't it? What? About you being dead. No, no, it's a fact, an absolute fact. Man, you ain't even friendly with the truth. Your goddamn lies put me on the canvas here. Not lies, alterations. I make certain alterations. Sometimes the truth don't fit. I take in a little here, I let out a little there till it fits. The truth. Truth is going to the back door of the Plaza Hotel every morning for yesterday's club rolls. I tell them it's for the pigeons. I'm the pigeon. Six minutes dead is true, a fact. And that's my last fact. This morning I'm talking to the counterman at Farm Fresh. I tell him I'm an American Indian, an Iroquois. He listens. Pretty soon I'm remembering the days on the plains, the broken treaties, my grandpa fighting the cavalry. Not important, he's convinced. I am, and I love it. This morning I'm an American Indian, this afternoon a spy. I was one person for 80-something years. Why not a hundred for the next five? Them club roads. How early do you think a person ought to get there to get the road? Roads, roads, you missed the whole point. The point? I got the point. The point is, you are crazy. Point is, you ain't never seen your marbles again. Oh, how fortunate. The next point on mental health. Crazy, you say? Listen to me. Listen to a trained observer. You are a wreck. Is this who you want to be? Is this what you have in mind for all this guy here sitting and staring once in a while for a thrill falling down? No, you got to shake things up, fella. You got to make things happen. You telling me how to live? You telling me? Mr. You talking to the superintendent in charge, 321 Central Park West, 42 years July. Now 15 years past retirement. How you think I'm still Superman? I ain't mentioned a raise in 15 years. And they ain't neither. <laughs> Three years ago, we moved to the night shift out of the public eye. They got a bunch of Arab suits. Come and go. But not me, Mr. You looking at the wise old invisible man? No, I'm looking at a dead man. Fifteen years, no raise. That's a dead bison. That's a ghost. What do you know? What does a ghost know? People see me. They see me. I make them see me. You fool. You crazy old fool. They don't see you. They don't want to look at your old face. Mind you, I just help them out. Don't you get it, baby? Both of us ghosts, only you ain't noticed. We old and not rich, and done the sin of leave and slow. You go with it, you break, boy. Traitor in the ranks.